Well, what's up, guys? I'm over here at the town hall uh, on a repair call. We got the unit set on 70 and it's 76 from what they're telling me. So they got four units here. They got four units here. Loud ass truck. Anyway, four units here and I'm going to go into the thermostat first, make sure it's still calling and make sure I'm on the right unit so I don't have to waste a bunch of time trying to figure out which one I've got to work on. All right, guys, we're about to, I'm about to get into it. Hey. Is it the thermostat over here? I think it's that side of the building that's not here. Yeah, I just want to make sure I get to the right thermostat. Okay guys, I had to go back to the van and get my um, knee pads and my gauges and my umbrella. I had to do that because it was like raining on me for a minute now and now the sun come out, so go figure. So we have main power, but as you can see, the gauges is Looks like, looks like not good, right? But if we go up here to the defrost board, all right, use our little needle point pins, we go between C and R, right? Between C and R. We don't have any 24 volts. So that would explain why my gauges were giving me funny a funny pressure reading because we don't have 24 volts on the system at all whatsoever. Is it a bad transformer? Is it what it what exactly is it? So we're gonna I'm gonna go up to the attic, unfortunately, and uh, see if I can figure out why we don't have our 24 volts up there, guys. My plan is on the way up to the attic so I'll know which air handler it is when I get up there. I'm going to cut both fans in the own position and then that way I'll know whichever fan ain't running will be the air handler that I need to work on. Alright, that's my plan anyway, guys. Jay, have you, have you got the key to the electrical room? I know I've, it's probably locked. It is. <laughs> hey, I'm doing alright. How about yourself? I think we've been kicking all the butt this week, haven't we? Yeah, it's been, been kind of kind of busy. <laughs> all righty. Anything else? No, I'm good. I'll get my bed light on. All right. Good. All right, appreciate it. Obviously, this one's running, and this one is not running. Okay, let's see what's going on with it. As soon as I took the panel off immediately, I seen what the problem was, guys. fuse right there is blown that low voltage fuse is blown so of course let's do let's 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 do the proper safety procedure of course and pull out the disconnect okay <laughs> I 
let's go see if we can find a dead low voltage short such a wonderful thing to do all right guys another tip that i want to share with y'all is as soon as i find a blown low voltage fuse uh, this prevents me from blowing even one fuse when i'm on a low voltage uh, short of some sort and that's this right here guys that's where our old fuse went right here so i plugged in a little resettable three amp breaker all right so that way if it is a dead shorter to trip it but regardless it's the best thing if y'all if don't have one of these right here for your 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 toolbox of repertoire of skills for low voltage uh, troubleshooting you need to I mean you can go to Amazon for like eight to ten dollars and get a three amp and a five amp uh, little small resettable um, low voltage breaker and it's perfect for troubleshooting low voltage shorts and whatnot so you're not wasting a bunch of fuses all you do is simply reset your breaker here when it does trip or if it trips until you can get it narrowed down that needle in the haystack and find that low voltage short all right guys and I will tell y'all, the absolute first place to always look for a low voltage short is the condenser, okay? Always the first place to look, so I'm fixing it. Climb down from up here, and I'm going to be going back out to the condenser, all right? And here in the control panel on the red 24 volt wire, I put a piece of tape on it. It's so bright out here, I can't see. But I put a little piece of tape on it right here, right at the base too. And I think it was pulled tight to the uh, to this piece of metal here. And it was where, where it was arcing out. But what I'm going to do, just for the heck of it, is I'm going to get some electrical tape and, and wrap all of these wires coming out of here with some tape all the way up about an inch or so to prevent that from happening again or happen on a different wire which that's the last thing we want is another issue but all right guys let me get that tape on there since i have the 24 volt wire out at the condenser repaired where it's no problem no more short i went ahead and put in my three amp control fuse and ready to cut power back on, put the door on, and see what we got, guys. Back out at the condenser. This is a 410A system, split heat pump, how? Uh, it's been running for probably about 15 or 20 minutes now, which is what they tell you the uh, amount of time it should take for 410A to run, you know, to get the proper pressure reading. I don't know, it's probably about 85 or so degrees out here right now. And I'm looking at, uh, you know, 130 over about 350 so uh, refrigerant pressures is good and got the uh, 24 volt short fixed I think I think I'm done I think this is in the bag guys all right